Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and this update for the roulette project pan. In this project I'm randomizing prompts and then I choose products based on those prompts. Let's get going because we have 10 products to talk about. For the first prompt we have two from the same company. This is because I wanted to be able to work on sets. I am often working with like one serum from that company, one day cream from that company, one toner from the third company. And I do have a few sets where, you know, everything is supposed to go together or it seems that way anyway. So I had heard that these two masks from the body shop are actually working very well together. So I wanted to use these together. This is a Himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask and you should use this first and then you should use this one to calm your skin afterwards. This is the British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask and yeah I think they work very well together. They look pretty uh, nasty both of them <laughs> and I just realized that one of the packages are broken, not this one. This is how this one looks now. I've used them both twice this month. Um, so yeah, at some point we'll get there. <laughs> My goal is to finish both of these. So that will take quite some time since I am working on a lot of other masks and stuff. This one looks like this. This is like a jelly, jelly thing. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, I just broke this one, um, this piece has gone off, it just flew away on the floor, which is why I can't really um, close it very well anymore. So I have to be very careful with that one because it feels like, yeah, if that slips out of my hand or I, I just carry it in, in, um, in the lid or something, yeah, everything will go all over the floor because that one is the jelly one as well, so it's, it's very liquidy. Anyway, that was the first prompt. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the prompt good enough to eat. I chose the golden pineapple lip scrub from Lush. And uh, yeah, I like this one, but it had already hardened. So I couldn't use it for my lips. It was so hard to get out of the packaging. So I decided to use it on my feet. I only used it twice to use it up because I used so much of it. It is really like melting away very, very quickly once you have water on it or, you know, if you're moist or something and it's not that strange, it's sugar, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is good enough to eat and it actually like, it tastes good and you're supposed to eat it. So I, I thought it was a fun, a fun project to have for this, um, for this prompt. Then we had something small, so I chose a deluxe size sample of this Verso Hydration Serum. I just finished this, I think, yesterday. I like it. It's okay. It's a little bit too liquidy, if you ask me. It's a little bit too loose. But, you know, as a serum, it was nice. It was okay. It didn't smell the best, but yeah. How many times can you say something is okay, <laughs> you know? It's not the best. It's not the worst. It works and I used it 17 times to use it up. The next thing I haven't used at all, and if I don't use it at all until next time, I will declutter it because that is the prompt, declutter, question <laughs> mark. And I have been thinking about decluttering this. This is so liquidy. I think this should be more of a gel, uh, gel consistency, but it is so liquidy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have been uh, thinking about decluttering this for a while, but I want to give it one last shot. Didn't I say the last month and the month before? Not in this project because I rolled this in last time, but <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I should declutter it, but I'm, uh, I have used a lot of it. So if I just declutter it, I don't get the money back in my, um, in my uh, beauty bank and stuff. So yeah, I'm reluctant. And I also want to finish things if I can. So one more month, hold me to it. If I don't declutter it, like if I haven't used it a lot until next time, like if I haven't used it four times or more, then I will declutter it. Hold me to that, please. <laughs> okay, but it is staying. 
Then we had a bath product, the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb from Lush. I love this one. It gives a really nice blue, kind of a dark blue shade to the water with lots of glitter and oh, it's so beautiful, it smells good. Very nice, I used it up. Then we have something from Odin's Eye and I surprised myself by choosing a lipstick. <laughs> and this is a cream lipstick called Love Jasmine. The packaging is gorgeous, don't you think? And it's kind of a brownish shade. I like that one a lot. Uh, like, look at that packaging. It's so detailed and mm, nice, nice. I used this one four times out of the 10. That is my goal. And I'm very happy to be working on a lot of lip products this year. Last year, I had a few things that I really wanted to finish and I still have a few things that I want to finish this year, but they're easier products. I am almost done with a lipstick and after that, or during the time that I am panning that one, I can use all of my other lipsticks. So this is probably going to be a year where I just test a lot of things out um, when it comes to lip products, which is, I'm very excited for. I, I wasn't last year. Last year, I just wanted to stick to what I knew was looking good and that I knew I could maybe finish. But this time I'm like, okay, I know I will finish one thing and then I can just play around. And I've started to play around and I realize that even if a shade doesn't go too well, if I have a lip gloss in another shade, it can work beautifully together. So mm, yeah, I am so stoked to actually be playing around with it. So anyway, uh, then we have a duplicate and I chose this Foam Fiesta by The Rituals and this has really surprised me. I thought this would be a gel to mousse kind of product, but it comes out as a mousse and it kind of spurts out, like not everywhere. It just creates a really big mousse straight away. Like it's almost like confetti, but it doesn't like spread all over the room, but it's like, I just push it lightly and it just, and it just comes out as a big fluffy, kind of firm foam. It's not even those, you know, really, really soft foams. It's like, it's a cloud of foam. <laughs> like, it, I can't explain it better. It's like, it's very firm. I, I was so surprised and I'm so surprised at how it comes out all at once. And it's, yeah, it's really a foam fiesta. It, it feels like a party. It feels like I'm just <laughs> shooting fireworks or something. I don't know. Uh, but it really, you know, the, the name is good. The name is good. Foam Fiesta. It's exactly what it is. It's pink. It's nice. It feels nice. Everything is nice about this one. Love it so, so much. And I have some way to go. So actually the first, I think three or four times I was standing in the shower. I used this and I was so surprised every time it came out that I started laughing out loud. Like I'm alone in my apartment and I'm starting to <laughs> laugh out loud. <laughs> and it just feels silly. It kind of feels weird when I laugh out loud when I'm alone. <laughs> but I was so shocked by what I got. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. I am going to keep using that one. And I'm going to continue down this list of things that I've been working on. So next up we have something pampering and I have this Aqua Glow sheet mask from Glow ID. I like it. That's it. <laughs> I like this better than normal sheet mask. They have so much serum. You can actually use most of the serum like for your body. You can, you can cover your whole body in that serum, like in that serum that you eat, don't even get in the mask. You will get a lot in the mask and then you will have a lot of leftovers and you can use that on your whole body. Like, I'm not kidding. I did that yesterday. I covered my whole body like it was a body lotion. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's nice. You, you do get a lot for your money. Then we have a big size of something and I chose this Glossy Box Eye Cream. And I've used it 23 times to get down to here. 23 times for this little and I'm using pretty much. I thought it would go a lot quicker <laughs> But anyway, I it will stay here for quite some time if that is the right measurement 
because uh, I think I've been pretty good in using it. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe it will be here the whole year. <laughs> But for the last product, we have an oil, and I chose this mini, 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 mini Charlotte Tilbury face oil. As you can see, I haven't used it up yet. I've been using this 10 times, and I think I can have it done by the next update, but I am happy because I, I think I said in the last update that I couldn't make a prediction. I thought I would be finished this month, but then I remember that oils are so different in how much you need. So I'm glad I didn't say that now. <laughs> so this is staying. And that means that we have four, uh, I think four things rolling out. We have the lip scrub rolling out. We have a serum rolling out. We have a bath bomb rolling out and we have the sheet mask rolling out. So we have four spots in this list and let's get rolling. So I have Spin the Wheel as an app here, and these are all of my prompts. And let's, uh, yeah, let's roll. <laughs> See what we get. A foot product, oh no. <laughs> I don't have that many foot products. Um, and I think all of them are pretty big. So yeah, that's going to stay here for quite some time, I think. A type of item that you normally don't use. Hmm, interesting. That would be the lip mask. <laughs> Something that makes you feel like a sophisticated woman. And, oh, I haven't hidden the slices, so I might get the same ones again later. But anyway. Something you don't know if you like. Okay. So let's see what we can find. Okay, I'm back and that was not the easiest round, let me tell ya. <laughs> but I have found my four products and um, some of them I think you can figure out what I would choose and some of them you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with a foot product. Now I have like a box with foot things, like things for my feet, I have like 10 to 14 things, I think, like from my inventory. I'm already working on a foot lotion, so I don't need any more lotions. I'm already working on my foot peeling and three of those items were foot peelings. And I was like, okay, do I have a foot mask? And I went to look for it and yes, 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 yes. I had one, I had one. <laughs> so I will use this one up. I'm so glad I have this now. <laughs> but then I remember that, hey, I don't have to finish everything that I actually put in here. I can have other goals. So I could, I could have, you know, brought in a foot lotion to use five times or something. But I just felt like that would be bad because then I would have opened it already. And if I don't get to that in time, then it would go bad quicker. So I think this is the best choice right now, even though it is like a gimmick product and it's not that hard. On the other hand, I have to do it. And a foot mask is not really something I make time for all the time. So anyway, the next one was something you don't normally use. And I chose this Paula's Choice 10% as Azil Azali. Is that azaliac acid? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, booster. It says once or twice daily applies to face and neck. May be used alone or added to your favorite moisturizer or serum. Works great as a spot treatment for visible discolorations. For daytime, always follow with sunscreen. I think this is a peel, maybe? It's an acid, so I guess it's a peeling product and I don't use that very often and I haven't tried anything from Paula's Choice before. I know that Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. I know that she's been talking about Paula's Choice and I think it was like one of her favorite brands or something like that. I don't remember. I Like sometimes I really doubt myself and okay was it really that person saying it and I know she was positive but how positive. <laughs> anyway 
It's a brand I don't normally use. It's uh, a kind of product I don't normally use. I don't really know what it is. So, you know, there's that. And then we have sophisticated woman. Something that makes you feel like a sophisticated woman. We had this last year and I'm going to choose the same product this time because it's my go-to. Like if I think of a sophisticated woman, I think perfume. And then I go to my perfumes and I'm like, okay, which ones of these are really sophisticated and nice looking? Because many of them are minis or they're not really special or they're girly or like I have a heart-shaped one and I'm like, okay, that's not sophisticated, that's girly, that's, you know, I have beautiful things, but you know, something elegant, sophisticated, and it always comes down to this. So this is the most sophisticated perfume or item in my collection, I think. This is the Rituals, I never remember what it's called, <laughs> Rose de Giraz de Parfum, and um, yeah, I have used it a lot and you can't really see <laughs> that much. Like I can see a difference, obviously. We're down to here, but we have a long way to go. So just having it in a few projects here and there with some usage goals works really fine. I hope to be able to maybe use it up next year. But anyway, for this year and this uh, prompt, I'm going to use it 30 times and hope that we see some kind of difference. I don't want to mark it because it wouldn't look as nice and then I wouldn't feel as sophisticated <laughs> because um, the bottle does it all, you know? And it's a grown-up scent, so, you know. And then we have a product you don't know if you like or dislike. And this is not really a beauty product, but I have it amongst my beauty items. This is the Act of Caring Reviving All Surface Cleanser. So it's more like a house, house product, I guess. But I had it amongst all of my other things because I got it in like, I got it in an advent calendar, I think, in the Sniff advent calendar, uh, which is all about scents. And it contained a lot of body products and stuff. So this just got there and then I thought maybe I could clean my palettes with it or, you know, I didn't really know what to do with it, uh, but it's a surface cleanser. So of course, you know, you can use it as a, it's a cleanser, you know, you can use it everywhere, not just my palettes on tables and you know, whatnot. Anyway, I'm going to use this 10 times to see if I like it, to see if I get in the groove of using it. Um, if it works better than just a normal, a normal cleanser or I don't know. I don't know. But that's why we're putting it in here because I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I don't like it. And that was the prompt. So whether it is a, a beauty product, it's beautifying my home, right? It's clean. <laughs> it's cleaning. I'm not going to bring in more cleaning products, but you know, since I, I had it amongst my beauty items and I thought I might clean um, my palettes and stuff with it, then it is what it is. I have it in here now. I want to see if it works. I want to see if I like it. And that's it. You can't change my mind. <laughs> so those are my four new products. So we're now working on 11 products still because we have the two from the same company. So we have 10 prompts, 11 products. Wish me good luck. I think until next time, I'm going to try to use up this one. Um, I think I'm going to try to get the usage on this one. Um, mm, 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 of course, I, I want to use this more than four times. Once a week. Can I do that? I hope so. Of course, I want to finish this one. I have no idea how long this would take, but I hope to finish that one as well. The foot mask. We could have a really good, a good round until next time. We could. I'm not saying we will, but we could. <laughs> and with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll follow along on this journey by clicking that subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, and I hope I'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Bye.